Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We're just gonna have some fun today. We're gonna get ready together. We're gonna test out a lot of new makeup. I have a full face of new makeup today that I am trying out. Maybe not some like really new, but there's some new launches. There's some stuff I've never used on my channel. We're just gonna have some fun and get ready together. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we'd love for you to become part of our family. You can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram on TikTok, Christy Allure, and check out my merch, GlamorousLifeCollections.com. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, Glam Fam, let's jump right into this Get Ready With Me video. We are just going to test out some new makeup, some makeup that may not be new this year, but I've never used it on my channel so i thought you know what i'll use some because there wasn't really a new foundation so this armani neo nude is like it is so good i use it during the summertime i used it a lot last summer and i think the summer before i can't remember exactly when it released but this is shade four i'm also shade 6.5 when i have like a self tan on but shade four is probably closer to my match i even think i can go down to 3.5 which is more of a olive undertone and that's in my Armani Luminous Silk. So I do wanna try that out in this video. Sorry, my earrings are all over the place, but we've got a lot to cover today. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I already did prep my skin with my normal dermatology products. I have my, in the morning now, I do my vitamin CEF serum and then I apply my eye cream and my hydrofader. I am going to do a summer essentials skincare video so stay tuned for that. Uh, that will probably be out not next video maybe like next video I don't know we'll see. Anyway that I have my ultra facial cream on after I did my dermatology. I also put my sunscreen on from dermatology. It's the only sunscreen I can use. So I have that, it has a little bit of a tint, but not a lot. And I just do a, a very, very little amount. All right, uh, just because I'm not really going outside, I just want you guys to be able to see how it lies under makeup. All right, so now let's go in with this Armani Neo Nude. I'll put the details of how much it costs. It's $40 at 35 mils, it's $1.14 per mil. That is a fantastic price point for a luxury product. I mean, 35 mils is quite a bit of product. This gives you almost like that BB cream type effect, but a lot of the times the BB creams make me break out. This one doesn't. This ingredient list is pretty darn good. So excited to actually put this on on camera. And this actually gives you quite a bit of coverage too. So this is more of a peachy undertone. That's why I think 3.5 is going to be a much better match. And by the way, I have my Smashbox uh, primer on. That's the only primer I can use and love. It softens the skin and doesn't make me break out. And this one you can really just do with your fingers. You don't really need a brush, but you can use it with a brush. And you can do like a very light coverage and you can kind of keep it dewy or you can do a fuller coverage and use like a full coverage brush and set it down with the powder, which is what I'm gonna do because y'all know I'm not really a dewy kind of girl, so. I like my dewy in the highlighter, which we're gonna play with some new Jaclyn Hill makeup today, so. Lately, I don't know what it is, but I've been liking to do my foundation with my fingers. I don't know why. I never was a finger person. My mom was a total finger person. But my HD skin that I'm obsessed with, my number one foundation ever, and even my Armani Luminous Silk, those will probably be my, my two favorite foundations ever. Those two I love putting on with my fingers and then just kind of going over it with the brush. I just feel like I get the best application that way. See, if you use a brush, you are gonna get way more coverage, but I really wanted that first layer to be super duper light. I didn't want it to be, I wanted it to be thin because I wanted to create more like a wearable look today. I'm just kind of stamping over just to make sure, but it just gives a nice, healthy 
finish. No, it's not covering up everything, but again, I can do that with my concealer and I'd rather just kind of keep it very light and fresh. And I think this is so much better, especially if you live in more of a heated climate because you don't want to wear too, I did that mistake for so many years where I'd cake on the makeup to cover up imperfections in a hundred degree weather when I lived in Northern California and it would be like cakey looking. So I think it's so much better just to leave it a light layer. Don't worry about your blemishes. Let them peek through a little bit, cover them up with some powder, and it will be so much better throughout the rest of the day. So very beautiful foundation. That color is actually really pretty for my skin tone. I think that actually is a really good match. So let's go in with, uh, oh, I forgot to put my eye cream on. Darn it. Uh, we can still kind of do it. So this is my Smashbox. I talked about this a lot last year too. This Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I love this stuff. I forgot to put it under my eye. I tell you though, if I don't use this before I do my concealer, I just, I notice a huge, huge, huge difference. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge. It's a little too damp. We're just gonna kind of uh, dry this off. So uh, I didn't upload two videos last week. By the time you guys watch this, I'm filming this on 4th of July because this week is a really tough week for me. So you will have seen my favorites video so you can check out that video. Let me go back to that brush. If you're new to my channel, uh, this week that you're watching this video is the week my mom passed away. So, it's, it's, it's a difficult time, but I'm not gonna get emotional in this video. It's just a really hard, hard time. So I'm just gonna get ready together. We're gonna do makeup and distract my mind. Okay, so there we go. So we have the eye cream on. Let's go in with my favorite concealer, and this is newer to the market. This is the Huda Beauty. You can check out my video on my faux filter concealer review. This is by far like one of my favorites concealers ever. So I think right now I have this on number one, just because I can use it all over my face, whereas the one size is very close second or t almost tied first, but it has avocado oil and I get a little nervous using it around my areas where I'm prone to break out, which is right here. I like playing this one with my brush. Now I'm gonna go over uh, everything with that same brush I was using my foundation with just to blend everything together so everything kind of melts into one. Do you see how beautiful that concealer is? I'm just taking my flat brush and just pressing everything in. I love doing this at the very end. This one has no product on it where it kind of lifts a little bit of product, but not a lot, you know, not like a sponge would do. So I actually prefer this method even more than the sponge. And this is a Bedallium Tools. This is one of my favorites right now, 957. I love this brush just so much. All right, we're gonna use my Armani. I just talked about these Neo Nudes. I used this last year, I finally found it. I bought it when it first launched and I forgot to do a video on it. This is number 21 and this is more like a brown undertone. You can use it as a blush or bronzer or whatever you want. I'm gonna use this as like a slight contour. And I'm just, this is a Bedallium Tools 948. If you're looking for a nice sculpting brush, this is amazing. I'm just gonna put that here. Oh, I just love what that does to your face. This is like the most incredible product. They're, they're called color melting bombs and they literally melt into your skin. Like they're so underrated, like not enough people talk about them, but they're always out of stock and that might be why too. Like why can't you guys ever keep this in stock? I'm so confused. All right, let's do it with my Patrick Ta contour brush. This is a really good contour brush. It's gonna just, I love that I can just put that right under my cheekbone and it just stamps the perfect amount. Leave it to Patrick Ta to come up with something like that. I have to be so careful about my bronzer and my hairline because my hair is so blonde 
uh, when it starts getting more rooted, which it is, I'm okay. But in the first initial color, I have to be so careful. See how pretty that is? It's just a nice, soft contour. And it's not too cool. You look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool tone, but it's really not so pretty. Just making sure like what I would do with a sponge, just making sure that everything is melted in and together. All right, now let's take my one size powder. 2R, I'm just gonna go in, do my normal setting down. See how everything just gets nicely softened out that way. All right, I'm gonna take my one size five NG, which is neutral gold, to take it onto my other Makeup Forever puff and just go around the perimeters now. And using a puff, I've been talking about this forever on my channel, which is funny because now it's like so such a trend now to use puffs, but we've been using puffs forever if you're my generation. So these young girls now are all like, oh my gosh, you should use a puff. It's the most amazing thing. Yeah, duh. <laughs> it's been around forever, you guys. So <sighs> it's nice though that TikTok just makes everything so popular, right? My mom swore by puffs. She was like, that's the only thing that locks in your makeup. And her, her skin always looked flawless. A, she had really good skin, but she was just a puff kind of girl. Going in with my Charlotte Tilbury, just to buff around and really soften and make everything pretty, huh? See, look at that. All done. All right, now let's try this new Jaclyn bronzer. Uh, I do want to use my contour first. So far, there's nothing that could ever beat this Viseart bronzer or contour, in my opinion. It's the most incredible powder. I need to get a hold of Viseart and find out if they're gonna sell it anywhere else because it's only on their website right now. I'm taking my MAC 222 or 272 <laughs> brush. It's just like an angled brush, and I'm just gonna use that for my nose contour. And I just like to go over that just to make sure that all edges are blended and we don't have any like harsh lines. Go in with my refer number four brush back into my Viseart contour shade and I'll put the name. I know one's called Noisette and one's called Noise. See how just that just glides on. It's just so beautiful. All right, let's get into this Jaclyn bronzer and check it out, see if we like it. So I went through three different shades with this bronzer, you guys. This is her new Sun Bathe Pressed Bronzer for $32. I went with this color we're gonna use today is called Top Down, and it's more of a warm golden bronze undertone. The other two I wasn't as fond of. That one is Tan Lines, and that's a golden bronze, but I wasn't as fond of that color. It was a lot more orange when I got it in person. So that's the one Jacqueline said she used in her video, and I liked it on her, but we have different undertones, so keep that in mind. And then I also picked up Vitamin D because it was more of a neutral golden bronze, and I wanted to use that more as a contour shade, but that was too orange on my skin tone as well. So I ended up taking those two back to Ulta. The only thing I'm not fond of is the scent. So it's like a coffee smell. I can't get this one open for some reason. Okay, so it's kind of like a, like a hazelnut coffee smell, and I love coffee, but I don't like scent in my products, so I just wish she would have left that out. All right, let's take it on to this Sigma, like uh, just like a cheek brush. It came in one of their sets, and I'm just gonna put that on there. Skin, so I can kind of smell it on my skin. Ooh, that's really pretty though. Okay, all right, Jacqueline. I just wish there was no scent, but it is really pretty. I'm just go over it. I just like doing this just because this is so thin that it's not gonna cover up the product, but it just softens everything out. That's pretty. I was actually stronger than I thought that color. I didn't know if it was gonna be that intense and that's pretty intense. <laughs> All right, now let's do my Armani blush underneath it. I just want you guys to see what this looks like. This is number 51. This is like a pink coral. Same thing from the contour we use, but it's more of a blush tone. It's just very soft and pretty. You can use this over foundation or over your powder or under your powder. 
it works both ways because it really dries down to such a beautiful, beautiful tone and finish. It's literally the best cream blush I could ever, ever, ever use. It's so good. I love this color. It's just so natural and so pretty. And you can build it up, you can tone it down however you wanna do it. I'm gonna put my Surratt blush, I'm gonna set it down with that first color right there. I'm such a fan of using that type of an angle for blushes these days. I just feel like it literally places where you want it without it going everywhere. Just makes things a little bit softer. All right, we are gonna try out this eyebrow stamp. This is very viral and they actually reached out to me and they sent me this product. It's not a sponsored video. They just sent it to me and I just told them if I like it, I'll try it on my video. If I don't, then I wasn't gonna try it on my video, <laughs> but I actually really like it. So it comes in this little envelope. I'll show you the product shots right there. And you get a ton of those little stencils, which are nice that you can choose like which brow shape you want. I think I already chose the one I wanted. I think it's already in that little bag. I did play with this off camera just because I really wanted to make sure I knew how to do it before I did it on camera. So they sent me light 05, which is like a light brown. And this is their brow pomade, sculpt and define. I thought it was a really cool technique. So I wish it was a little bit lighter. This is a little bit dark for my really blonde, blonde hair right now, but I love that it's an ash tone, which is nice. It comes with this little sponge thing, and that's what you're gonna use to do the stencil. First of all, do this, because it will make your life a lot easier. I like to stamp it in there and really get the product stamped in there. And it does come with this little brush to like clean up where it has like an angled brush and a spoolie on the other side. And then I like to make sure that I do it where I want. So it would be like right here. I always know it's where my little line wrinkle is. That's where I want the brow to start. So I'm gonna line it up with that. All right, Let's see if I can do this on camera like I did off camera. And then you just do this. You just stamp it in there, rub it in. Let's hope this turns out like it did off camera. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cool. Do you see that? Okay, so it's a little on the messy side. I gotta clean that up. I think my first round was better off camera, but yeah, wow, that's pretty cool. So this is a little dark for me. I think I need to go down to the blonde, uh, but that is such a cool little device. Let's see if we can kind of lighten that up a little bit. All right, you guys, so I kind of had to calm that down a little. That was a little aggressive for my taste, but the concept is there. It's there, it's just, it's a little aggressive. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this Arches and Halo. This is in blonde or sunny blonde. And I'm just gonna kind of go over that a little bit just to lighten it up. I really like Arches and Halo right now. This is like, I used to use their um, more defined brow pencil, kind of like the old uh, Anastasia one, a comparison, a dupe for it, but I like this I like this one even more. I like the color tones that they offer. I'll have all the links on the bottom as always. All right, now I'm gonna take my Arches and Halo neutral brown pen. This has been something I've been utilizing a lot off camera. To be honest with you guys, off camera, this is kind of all I do. I don't even do other brow products. Yeah, see how that just gives more of like a natural effect. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Blonde and try to lighten that up a little bit. There we go, that lightened it up a little bit. Yeah, not so, so much. All right, let's go in with my Dominique Cosmetics. And this is the eye base that I just can't stop using, and you guys know, and that's all I use with this product. Let's take it on, I'll do this little Sigma one. This is the Sigma Precise P87. Oh, that's a good one for getting in there like that. And I'll take a more, do a little bit more. This is such an amazing eyeshadow base for us mature skin ladies. I think it just something about it where it's hydrating, yet 
it covers. It covers our imperfection, our wrinkles, yet it makes your eyeshadow stay on all day long. I cannot rave about this product enough. And no, I did not get sent this product. I bought it myself. You can get it on Beautylish. I bought it when I bought her palette and I wanted to try it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it and I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. We're gonna set down with my Viseart Seamless Powder as I've just been raving about it. I think I can stop raving about it so much though. You guys are probably sick of me talking about it. This Make It Forever one is just, it's just something about it. Something so special about it. I mean, literally my, my eyelids feel like when I was in my teens with this powder combination. It's just so incredible. This seamless powder is, it's underrated. It is so good. Actually, let's take a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Just, just a little bit of reassurance there. And take a little bit onto my brows. We're gonna do the Chosen Bun. This is from Beauty Bakery. This just released, and this is at Ulta. You can pick this up. A really good price point. I think it's $39, you can see right there. But you get quite a bit of product in there. It's kind of like a ColourPop type situation going on there, but the quality is much better than ColourPop, obviously with a much higher price point, but the same type of packaging, I should say. But I think that's how she kept the price down, which is good. This is a phenomenal eyeshadow palette. Wow, I'm impressed by this. I've been playing with it off camera. You can see the swatches. They're so creamy, you guys. I just love the color tone. It's such a wearable, everyday all season palette like you literally can create the most gorgeous natural looks with this but also really glam it up i am so impressed by this palette i'm just blown away by it and i do want to put my lip oil on so i did pick up the lip oils because this is what i was most excited about i already had the highlighters because i had actually bought the highlighter and the lip oil when she first launched this last summer and then this summer she came out with more lip oils these are sold out they are so incredible you guys know i've been talking about this lip oil so i had rose drip the only shade I was able to get uh, by the time I bought it was the diamond one. There was other colors that just didn't tickle my fancy, but I love these for $20. This is Rose Drip and then this is Di Crystal Drip. I was gonna say Diamond Drip, but Crystal Drip, but I really, really want those lighter ones. Honey Drip and Bubble Drip. These are the best lip oils you will ever, ever, ever get. So let me put the clear one on for right now just while we're doing our eye makeup. I had it on earlier and I forgot to tell you guys, but I'll put a little bit more on. Ooh, mm, that's the clear. And I like having the clear just because sometimes you just don't, like if you're going somewhere really fast and you don't really want it all over your straw, you know, any type of color pigment, that, that's a beautiful way of doing it. These are the most incredible lip oils. Probably the number, no, they are the number one lip oils. All right, let's start off with Sugar Glaze. I think that's a really beautiful transition color to use. I just washed all my brushes because I had that issue with the Wayne Goss. I didn't know which shadow it was, so I just like wash all your brushes, girl, <laughs> and just make sure. So we're gonna take my Wayne Goss number 16 brush. So soft and so beautiful and so easy to blend out. That is a gorgeous shade. I did a real simple look today really beautiful and i'm going to show you how you can utilize i think this is called dough dough would be a really pretty color too let's just use this wayne goss edit number five you can just take that and just kind of diffuse out edges like that or you can use this as a base shade however you want to do it depending on your skin tone Let's see how that just took away, erased any type of demarcation lines. All right, let's go in with Graham. That is a gorgeous neutral tone shade. I am gonna take it onto this Hakahoto brush. And we're just gonna, oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna put that a little bit tighter. Oh, I just love that color. Depending on your skin tone, it will depend on how you utilize this palette with transition colors. As always, you know, it's gonna be different for my skin tone versus somebody else's skin tone. Ooh, ooh, this palette is 
giving me the fills. It's just giving me the fills. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm just going back in with sugar glaze. Oh my gosh, you guys, how gorgeous is that? Oh, all right, now going in with my Sonia G mini booster, we're gonna go into brown sugar, this gorgeous chocolate brown. We're just gonna pack that on right there. Just gonna kind of go a little faster than normal just because I don't want this video to be so, so long since we're doing a full phase. Let's take this, uh, I don't know, rougher number 12 brush. We're gonna pack this on. So I was using, nat these are all natural hair brushes. This can be even more pigmented with synthetic brushes, but I don't want it to be too much. I want it to be just enough, but not too much. This is a perfect brush for really getting in there. And that will just round out my eyes without doing a halo. I, that's just how I prefer my eyeshadow, so. Again, as I mentioned in that last video, if you like more of that cat eye effect, don't bring it in. Leave the dark on the outside. Everybody has different preferences. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, going back in to Graham, that same Hakahodo brush. So easy. This would be like palette you can just get your look done so quick and easy. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Let's take a little bit of uh, sugar glaze. Just like that. Ooh, ooh. All right, now let's go in with apron, I wanna say, on the outer corners. Can we just talk about how creamy and metallic-y that is? We'll do it like right here, just so you guys can see all the colors. Well, all the gold tone colors. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, let's do that on the inner and outer area. All right, we're gonna take my crown brush I always like using, and we're gonna go in to fresh now. It's a little bit lighter, and I wanna pack that more right here and blend out that other gold one. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these metallics. Like you just don't even know. All right, now we're gonna take that one all through the center. So I'm just gonna take this Anastasia A18, going back in to fresh. Oh, it's just like the softest metallic. That is so pretty. Ugh! All right, let's take vanilla, obsessed. And put that, oh my gosh, yes. I wanted that spotlight right there. Whew. This is giving me the feels. You have to pick this up at Ulta. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And it's so beginner friendly because the formulation is so soft. Wow, that's beautiful. We're gonna take a little bit of my Jaclyn bronzer that we use just to tie in and make the look more monochromatic. We're just gonna bring that in just to kind of warm up the brown a little bit. The smell is its just too strong for me. We're gonna take my Sigma E40. Let's do my little Bedallium Tools brush and we're gonna not use eyeliner today. We're just gonna use this brown sugar I'm gonna pop that on the lower lash light. It's such a beautiful, deep chocolate brown that you really don't need a liner with this one. Oh, you guys. Oh, I think we have a winner, winner, chicken dinner with this palette for Christy. These are just my kind of tones right here. So we're gonna take my little refer brush. This is number three. My little Wayne Goss brush. We're gonna go back in to my bronzers, my Viseart bronzer, and we're gonna go into that contour color. Soften out those edges. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's take my Jaclyn Cosmetics. So I have two shades right here. And these are from the old launch. This is Star Power and Sun Lover. And one is more gold and one is more of like an icy tone, like a pinker undertone. 
These are like a putty highlighter, so they're almost like a wet feel. I mean, gorgeous. Uh, not necessarily my favorite as like a highlighter. Uh, so we're gonna use this as an inner corner today. I'm gonna dip that in. I'm gonna use that like right there. They're very glazy. They're pretty, see? Just kind of lays down a nice little base. Then I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill. This is my favorite. This I love this highlighter formulation more from her. I will show you guys what this looks like on the cheekbone. But again, it's just not my favorite formulation. You can do this with your finger and just kind of place it like that. Let's take this Chica Hoda one, this will be good. And we'll just try it out with this brush. Yeah, you can do that. So very, you know, intense. Again, not my favorite for the highlight, but it's pretty. We're gonna go back in and take her sparks and go over that. Oh my gosh, do you see how much that and just intensified sparks? So that's actually really pretty underneath. And I had not tried that yet. It's intense. Just gonna go over that just to calm it down a little. So that's how the final look came together. I did pop on my Amy June lashes. You can use my code Christy15 at checkout and get 15% off of your $10 lashes. That's right, those lashes are only $10. Those are my favorite. That's Eve 3D Silk. That's part of her 3D Silk line. And the name is called Eve. I wear these on a majority of my videos. I'm obsessed with her lashes. You guys know that about three years ago, I discovered her lashes at a Planet Beauty here in Orange County, and I fell in love with her lashes. So I have been using them ever since, and I love supporting small businesses. And for that reason, I do buy all my own lashes from her, just so you guys know that. But she did give me a code for you guys, Christy15, at checkout to get 15% off. So definitely utilize that, you guys. They are so amazing and I do have an affiliate link with her as well. I did top off this look with the Jaclyn Putty Highlighter in Sun Lover. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. It really is a multi-purpose highlighter. I used a little bit on my eyelids and I really liked it. I think it actually serves as a really good base for metallics. So I give these highlighters a five out of five. And now she added on, I wanna say two more shades, but I'm happy with the shades that I already had. That's why I didn't repurchase more. Very beautiful. She did an awesome job with that. And then let's just go into the eyeshadow palette. Let's stay on the positive note for right now. So the Chosen Bun Bakery Beauty Bakery palette is absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend this palette. The price point at 38 is a really good deal. I think they're better than ColourPop. Yes, you're paying more, but I think the quality is a little bit better. My eyes are becoming more sensitive in my mid 40s. I don't know why, but I've developed all of these different eye allergies. So right now the current situation that I know works for me is the Duo Lash, and I thought I could not use any Duo, but this one I actually can use. This is their Quick Set. I love the paddle brush because I love the fact that it doesn't allow you to put too much glue because if you put too much glue on your lashes, that's when things can go really wrong. This stays all day and I, ha I don't have as many eye sensitivities with it. I was using the Kiss with Aloe, but then that started affecting my eyes. I know, I'm sensitive. Another thing I really love blending out my lashes or my um, eyeshadow with lately is this Pat McGrath. I don't know if she still sells these. These are individual shades. I'll put the name right there but this color I always have on hand with me and I love it for a nose contour as well. This reminds me a lot of that shade that was in the Wayne Goss palette that I just reviewed and I was like, oh, I wish that I had that shade. Like, I wish that was one shade I can keep out of that palette. This is it, so it's really beautiful. So I love the color tone of this. I didn't actually think I was gonna like the color tone of this. These um, compacts are so hard to open. The color tone was actually really pretty. I can't get past the smell, you guys. So for me, this was a three out of five. I think the formula is good. I, I think if she would have left out the scent, I would have been a five out of five for me, or four out of five, I would say. I still love this this uh, one size one if we're talking about influencer makeup. This Patrick Star one is still my favorite. This one is in, uh, this is the made for shade. I love that you get three shades in this light trio. I would pick honestly the Patrick Star one over the Jaclyn Hill one. Just for me personally, there's no scent. They're both high, very pigmented, but very blendable. I think that's it as far as everything I tried out. Oh, the brow product. So I actually am gonna give this a five out of five because I think the concept is there. It's just 
for me preference wise it was a little too dark but I think it's an awesome concept and for girls that have a really difficult time for brows which is hi raise your hand in the comments if you just hate doing brows as much as I do that is the only thing that I loved about it was that it has the stencil to help me figure out where to do it it could have been a really quick situation I think off camera I do a better job it's just really hard to focus and try to do it on I don't know for me it's just easier to do it off camera so I will have my Amazon affiliate link below definitely check it out this is light brown if you liked the color I want to try the blonde one because I think I'll be happier with the blonde one if you like any of these products as always when you utilize my affiliate links it really does help my channel out because my revenue for ads are not as great as a bigger youtuber as i am still a micro influencer so i really appreciate when you guys utilize it's not a whole lot i get from those affiliate links but if a lot of you used it it adds up so i just appreciate it so much when you use my codes at checkout so i'll show you there's always going to be that section right there where it says affiliate codes and you can go into any of those sections and use my code at checkout or use my link like dermatology thank you guys so much for supporting me with dermatology because it's the only skincare i love i'm doing a full skincare video so stay tuned for that you guys know i have been talking i'm obsessed with my ilios light this is the most amazing light you could ever want and if you're a makeup lover you have to get that light mirror it is amazing it's a ring light mirror it's gonna be in the shot but that's okay anyway check out those codes check out my other affiliate links if you decide to purchase any of these again I greatly appreciate that support and if you're new here before you go please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell join our beautiful glam fam we're here every Friday and Sunday and we'd love for you to become part of our family and please give this video a huge thumbs up it's a free way to support my channel when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below it really again helps my videos out so much you can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram on TikTok Christy Allure and check out my merch Glamorous Life collections and I will see you guys on the next video love you guys bye Thank you.